The water first leaves the faucet at a low velocity, leading it to have the streamlined laminar flow. However, as the water travels farther down the basin and picks up speed due to gravity, it transitions into this chaotic turbulent flow. In the second part of this demonstration, we are going to explore what happens when laminar and turbulent flow encounter obstacles in the path. Now, given what we know about laminar and turbulent flow, and the relative chaoticness and orderness of the streamlines within them, what do you think will happen when laminar flow hits the top of this bottle and when turbulent flow hits the top of this bottle? When the water coming out of the faucet is in laminar flow, it hits the top of the bottle and is redirected around it, still maintaining that ordered streamline. However, when we turn up the velocity of the faucet and thus transition the flow into turbulent flow, we see that around the bottle cap, the flow is now turbulent and is no longer ordered and streamlined.